Okay, how are you doing today? So, uh, today I just want to talk about uh, blogging, and this is just a casual talk, nothing really technical. I just want to, you know, tell everyone how I make my blog. So, uh, if those of you who are thinking about blogging, let me just break it down to you into two parts, please. From what I've seen in the blogging space, there are two types of bloggers. One are bi biographical bloggers, and the other are business type bloggers. So, what are the differences? Well, biographical bloggers, I kind, of, I kind of fall in that kind of category. So, I have something that I want to share with you, and I want to, I feel passionate about writing, uh, which is dividend growth investing, pa uh, passive income. And so I want to share my experience in my, based on my biography. So, I fall in this kind of category of biographical bloggers, blogging. So the other category is kind of business blogging. They, business bloggers, usually have a product they want to sell you, and, you know, they have something they want to sell you, and maybe hopefully you go onto the site and you buy a product from them. And this could also be, you know, uh, newsfeed bloggers or other kind of bloggers where they drive a lot of traffic through uh, getting the users and the subscribers and you know, uh, hopefully you can do some kind of business with them eventually. So these are basically two types of categories. So I, my particular blog is not really uh, monetary driven so I, I, I'm just here to write what interests me and anyone who likes to, you know, uh, read what I write, then come up and read my post. Okay, so these are basically the two categories. Now, um, now I want to get next to okay, so how did I make a blog to begin with? Okay, so the first thing, there's basically three steps to why, uh, what I kind of experienced. Right? Now, my blog is relatively new, but it's only been up for uh, not even a year, so basically. But I just want to outline the three basic steps. Okay, so the first step, you want to determine if your blog is to be a business blog or a biographical blog. So, do you want to sell something or do you want to just write about yourself and write about what, you, what interests you and you want to connect with other people that have the same interests? So, once you determine which category you're in, then you can start kind of organizing uh, your blog and what kind of content you want to put in. So, uh, originally what I did was I decided, okay, I want to write about uh, dividend growth investing and passive income. So, then I decided, okay, I want this blog to kind of reflect on my experience and how I created a portfolio uh, with dividend growth investing. And so that's, what, that's how I centered my the, the original plan, that's why I centered my blog around, around dividend growth investing and kind of uh, showing you, the reader, my experience and talking about things that are kind of you know, passive growth, business growth investing, things like that. So once you have a rough idea and a plan, you can sort of sketch out, okay, how, what kind of content you want to put on there, how you want to organize your content, and things like that. Okay, so once you've got your plan in place, a kind of a rough plan, you don't have to have, you know, a very detailed plan or spend weeks or months planning it out, it's not necessary. I mean, all you really need to do is have a rough idea of what to do. Okay, so, and the second step, step two, is the next, the next two steps you're going to have to do something. And so, what, what you're going to have to do is, first of all, you got to find a social provider. So, someone uh, who's going to host your content. And what I mean is host your content is, okay, so, you're going to be writing stuff, and you're going to need uh, physical servers, and you're going to need a company that hosts uh, where your content is going to be. So this is called a hosting provider. Now I picked, uh, I picked after doing some research, I picked Bluehost, and Bluehost took care of. Uh, I thought of a domain name, which is the next uh, step that you need to think in your blog. So let's say you're 
you want to talk about fashion, or you want to talk about uh, fixing cars, or you want to talk about finance, you want to talk about losing weight, anything that interests you. You want to talk about traveling. So you think of a name where someone goes to your website and that's a name unique to you. So that is called domain name. So when you pick out a domain name, it's going to be unique to you. You're not, no one else is going to have this name. So my domain name is easydividends.com. It's unique to me. That, that's the name I thought of and that's basically no one else has that name. So when you think of a domain name .com, .edu, .org, .whatever, there's, there's tons and tons of uh, domain names out there that haven't been used and, and sometimes even when someone uh, doesn't want to use it anymore it gets back and recycled. So you'll, you'll, you'll have tons of selection out there. Once you think of a a good name that you want to use and once you've thought of it then you 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 you, you uh, go to your hosting provider you type in that name the hosting provider there's tons of hosting providers out there and I, I'm just I'm just talking about one which I use is uh, Bluehost so you type in that domain name and see if it's been used or not if it hasn't been used well then you're in luck basically you can use that domain name and you can register it. Okay, so once you've had, once you've thought of your domain name, you go to a, a hosting provider, like say uh, Bluehost, and you basically find out if that name has been taken. If it hasn't taken, you can get your luck. So you do the necessary registration, register your name, that's what you need to do. Now, domain name and IP address are two different things. have a unique IP address. So IP addresses are basically, they could be recycled by the hosting provider and IP address is the physical address on the actual uh, server or the hosting provider. Now all that is going to be set, you know, set for you in the background. So all, all you need to do is when you register to know that your name, your unique name belongs to you. And you know, whether it's a unique IP address, it's not important. I mean, unless you uh, really run a, a professional business blog, you might need to get in those details and ask more about those details. But uh, if you're running a kind of a biographical blog for yourself, that's not really important. That, you know, you have, it's not important that you have either recycled IP address or, or you know, static IP address. Not, that doesn't matter. Okay, so, so once you've done this, you found your hosting provider, you register your domain name, and you need to do. Then the next step is finding a content management system. So what is that? That's, that's where you want to write your content, you want to design your blog. So when you design and write your content, now that's going to be, uh, that's going to take the majority of the time. Because what you want to do is you want to, you want to find a proper layout, Things. You want to find out where you, where you want to put your menus and any pictures and your information, things like that. So that that's really that's really where the majority of your time is going to be spent, kind of you know, organizing the layout and uh, organizing your content with the content management system. So what uh, what I use with Bluehost, I use the WordPress plugin, which is very convenient. The WordPress plugin not require you to separately install uh, software on your computer or things like that. It's all with the uh, hosting provider, Bluehost. So all you do is you plug in the plugin for the content management system, which is WordPress. Now obviously WordPress, it also, there's also other uh, a separate piece of software you install. Now if you're running a business, that, that might be a different story, you might need to separately install WordPress as a separate piece of software, but as a personal blogger, a biographical blogger, that's totally unnecessary, you don't need to do it. And all you need to do is, uh, when, let's say my uh, hosting provider provides WordPress as a plugin, then WordPress is automatically uh, installed. And I don't need to worry about it. All I need to do, all I need to uh, do now is basically just learn how to use WordPress. So that's basically 
that's basically the, the you know where most of the learning curve comes from. If, if you don't know how to use WordPress, then this is where this is where you got to spend some time and kind of understand you know, uh, how do I use WordPress and uh, you know how do I you know create posts, how do I uh, create static pages and add the posts, you know do my layout. There's a lot of themes you can use and how do I plug in. Things like that, and eventually you're going to be learning that because you're going to be adding plugins. For instance, you, you want a you know a special theme, you add a plugin. Uh, you want other kind of comments. Uh, if you just want to comment on your page, you'll be adding plugins and things like that. And if you want to let's say email me page or subscribe page, all a lot of stuff like that. And you know you're going to be testing a lot of themes from WordPress. Now WordPress is, is really good. There's a lot of free themes that are available and you don't really need to uh, you know pay for things like that. There's a lot of good themes out there that are free and unless you're really running a professional enterprise blog, you know, it's not really necessary. You don't really need to, you know, pay for especially if you're beginning, you just start not a blog. Uh, you don't really need to pay for it. There's, there's so many really good themes out there that you can choose from. And you know, it doesn't cost any money. It's, it's, it's free. And all you need to do is just find out which one you want to use, and then that's it. That's it. All you do is plug it in, do some checking, and do some layout testing, test the colors, the background, things like that. And that's all you need to do. Alright, so basically, um, I've outlined this is basically the two, you know, the three basic steps how to create a blog. So, you know, that, that's, that's it. Uh, the first step, obviously, do some planning. What do you want to talk about? What interests you? And what your domain name is. What exactly you want to name? What, what is your website name? What, what do you want to name it? And what do you feel passionate to talk about? And that's basically, that's the first step. So, a little bit of planning. The second step, find a hosting provider. Alright? So, Hosting provider, I choose Bluehost. So, hosting provider, once you've found your proper hosting provider, all you need to do is check your domain name, it's available. If it's available, okay, you're set. If it's not available, you probably have to choose another name, that's fine. And so, once you've found your proper name, you register, and that'll probably take about a day or two. And that's it. You're just, you're, you just stay with this hosting provider, you pay your fees. And the third step is to learn the content management. And for me, Bluehost provides a plugin which is uh, I'm sorry. Bluehost provides a plugin which is the WordPress, right? The WordPress plugin. That's your content management system. So your content management system is where you spend most of the time. You know where your learning curve is going to be because you, if you don't know how to use it, you're going to obviously you're going to be spending some time here. Uh, picking up on how to use it and how to make a proper post and how to uh, add to the post and of course you know writing proper content writing content which is uh, which you want you know which is satisfactory to uh, your liking and this is, that, that, that's the most important of the time and eventually when 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 the blog does get uh, when you when you're satisfied with the blog and you're satisfied with that post you can do some small things like monetization and that, that I, I haven't actually done much that I'm going to, that's about the state I'm going to get to, but I'm not really worried about that, my blog is getting involved with you. So, you can go to Google AdSense, and uh, that's one, that's one, uh, that's one path you can use, yeah, that's one option you can use, Google AdSense, but there's, there's also other uh, affiliate marketing sites, and then, you know, kind of, you know, links, uh, ad, ad links, and uh, that's, 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 I haven't really looked at that, but that, that's kind of the monetization, monetization step. So that, the monetization part will be more important for the business stuff because uh, their, you know, their main goal is to try to sell you a product or you know, they need to monetize, or sell you some information, you see, it doesn't matter what, you know, they just, uh, that, that's kind of a different thing from a biographical blog, so that's really the next step. Now, obviously, you can turn a biographical blog to a business blog, but that again, that takes time. That's not going to happen overnight. You know, that, 
you really need to feel passionate about writing something first. And, you know, usually a blog, you, you want to post it, you want to get your own information up eventually, and, you know, once, once things get rolling, then you can think about monetization. That's really the last stop. So, that's, you know, the next step. Uh, okay? So, um, that's, that's basically it. Uh, just, just an introduction, uh, introduction on how I made my blog, which is, you know, a couple simple steps. And I, I'm, I'm looking again to move forward too. My blog is uh, easydividends.com, e z d i v i dividends to the d i v i d e n d s dot com. And so you know, I, I'm again, I, I'm not uh, any, you know, I'm not a, a really, a, I, I'm a, sort of a beginner. So you know, I'm just again, it's, it's a learning curve for me as well. And so I just like to share with you so far what I have. Okay, well that's it.